Coachman Fro with a package for you. Bing bong! <gasps> Anybody in there? I've got your package. It's Postman Fro with a generic package. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, what did Postman Fro bring me this time? It looks like a color grading deck. Now this is from a company called Tangent. Now that's not the important thing right here because this board has been out for a couple of years. Now what is it and why are we talking about it? Well something like this is for color grading. You would see this in one of those video editing houses where people are color grading video and they need to get everything spot on. The reason I'm bringing this up now is because there's native integration into Capture One version 10. That means you can plug it in and be ready to go right off the bat. So I haven't used this before to edit, but let me quickly jump into Capture One and show you how it works. Now I have this button mapped out right here to let me go to the next image. Now if I want to edit this and go black and white, I got a knob over here right now, take out all the saturation. Then over here it's like, oh, I can change my exposure. Check it out, if I want to go back to the zero out exposure, I just press it in like this. So boom, contrast button, yes please, I know. I went a little too far on the contrast. I normally do. Now, I'm just not, I don't have time to fine tune this, but you can see what's going on here. If I wanna bring the color back, I can just do that. Then you've got sliders over here, or knob sliders, whatever you wanna call it, for structure and clarity and all of those different things, and it shows up on a little screen. Now, normally this would be on a desk and it would be in your line of sight, but it's pretty easy to use. Let's go to another image and see what we've got. So we've got this shot of Gavin DeGraw, all right? So look at this, you can change the white balance right here with this button, you can go like that. Now that's simple, but when you get into these dial-y things, you could be like a DJ. Like one of those special DJs that's like, bing, 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 bing. You can feel it, and then you bring it down, and then you're like, ooh, slowly bring it back up, uh, 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 and drop the beat like that. And then you can just go ahead and change different tones and colors and structures and all of these different things that I don't know what they do, but you can see the changes happening on the screen. And as you fine tune your skill set using this tangent board inside of Capture One version 10, you will see that your editing probably will get better. I need to get into Capture One more often and having these knobs, you know, even using this for the first time, it's pretty awesome to be here and just turn the knob and get what I want fairly quickly and be able to fine tune it. Just take some work. Uh, the buttons feel great. It's not like they feel like plastic. You turn them and it's a gradual turn. You press them and, they, and they're wrapped in rubber. And then you've got all these dials and buttons and things like here that you could map for everything else. What's it smell like? Deadmoo5, AKA Dead Mouse because maybe he was DJing the party on one of, actually he probably owns one of these because he he's big in the color grading and video. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can find more information, check out the links down below to get more information on the tangent board as well as Capture One Pro 10. And that's where I'll leave it. What do you guys think of this? Do you use something like this? Would you use this? And how, if you have used it, has it helped your editing so far? That's it. Thanks, Postman Fro. Jared Poland. Fro knows photo.com. Drop the beat. Ooh, yeah. Wiki, 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 wild. Wiki, Jim West, Wild West. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights off. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.